the girls actually saw? Well, we will once they're actually able to form words. Yeah, but Alice will spit it when she gets to them. Yeah, probably the uh, teenage attention-seeking overactive imagination from too many horror movies approach. Meanwhile, the scarecrow's been fed that much more fear, which is only going to make him want more. Has Alice looked a little stressed to you lately? I think she's just a little overworked. Why? Well... You know, I'm still finishing up the damage control from the Scarecrow's attack of the tunnel. Keeping those two guys away from the press, driving home the hallucination theory. Alice, we didn't do this. It was... Teenagers. Looking for attention because they watch too many horror movies. Horror movies, right. We need to. Horror movies where someone ties someone to the roof of a car with a garden hose and drives it through the front of a house. You've handled worse. Much worse. That is true. I've also drank shots all night and bungee jumped naked off of a bridge, and I don't want to do that again either. You don't? No. I'm okay. I'm all right. I will deal. Naked? Look at this. I left it on. Wow. Well, look at who dropped in the front window. All right, get this to Jonathan. See if he can enhance the footage. Well, I, I thought we could do that tiresome errand together. I can. I got class. Oh, how convenient. I thought so. Well, don't forget an apple for the teacher. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were torturing me. No, I'd call it mocking. Mm -hmm. And how did you react to your partner mocking you about attending this class? Well, I ignored her, the way she ignores most of what I say. It's the key to our relationship. Mr. O'Malley. Oh, my teachers used to always call me Nick. Actually, it was short for Nick, you've got detention. <laughs> <laughs> and how have you fared using the other techniques we've learned? Any losses of temper? Well, just an extremely obnoxious gnome. So yesterday we had a troll, and today we have a gnome. It's been a busy week. What does everyone else think about what Nick is saying? Lester. Can he do that? Can he call on me? Go ahead, Lester. Well, I think that Nick... Uh, Mr. O'Malley, please. I think that Mr. O'Malley... Uh, uh, Nick, Nick's good. I think that Nick has erected a wall between his outer world and his inner emotions, and I don't like it. Lester, I think you make a good point. You're only saying that because his head's about to explode. Mr. O'Malley, I'd like to suggest you might be a more effective police officer if you learn to think before reacting. Deconstruct the situation. Analyze how it might play out. In times of stress, let your head guide you, not your heart. Take a breath and take control of the outcome. Does that count as one catchy saying or five? <laughs> Came into the cigar club. Well, who squealed? Denny. You know that figures because he's half rat. <sighs> now she knows where I live. I can't go home. Hey, do you mind if I stay with you for a couple of... Hello? Hello? Anybody want to put me up for a few months? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. The latest software can take footage from even the crappiest video camera and really clean it up. Look at that detail. It's like the big toe is right here in the room with us. Let's go, Jonathan. Fast forward. Okay. This is after the power was cut, uh, the neighbor's dog was killed, and someone outside opened a window while they were alone in the house. It's amazing they even noticed the car. Hmm. Okay, everybody's panicking, everybody's running for their lives. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, can you... Zoom in? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. See those markings on his hand? That looks like a... A rune. Yes, it is. You figure out yet, uh... What it means? Okay, I cross-referenced an ancient Germanic alphabet with some third-century Egyptian symbology. You don't know, do you? No. But it looks familiar. I just... I can't figure out why. And that, Jonathan, is better than nothing. You have an excellent mind. You will remember where you've seen that symbol before. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um... I talked to our Xeno psychologist. I asked him to put together a profile on the Scarecrow based on the little information we've got. But he didn't have enough information to get anywhere. Actually, he was pretty confident about one particular point. He said, whatever we do, don't let the Scarecrow kill. Because once he scares someone to death, he's never going to settle for anything less. We know where this thing was last. 
and barring him stealing another vehicle, let's figure out how much territory is covered and patrol it. All officers, hit the streets. The worst thing about fear is that it's contagious. It can spread from one or two people to a hundred, a thousand people. So in a way, it's like a cold. No, I'm serious. We're talking potential widespread panic. It's the very thing Special Unit 2 is supposed to avoid to keep the existence of links a secret. You're underestimating how much I really hate having a cold, and I really am serious. No, you really aren't serious, because you're fooling around, because that's your natural response whenever you don't want to deal with something. Are you been talking to Dr. Moore? Okay, fine. Fine. We're dealing with a creature who gathers strength by playing on basic primal fears. So, what are you afraid of? Being locked in a hotel room with Heidi Klum and a bottle of chocolate syrup, and the syrup is non-fat. I rest my case. So do I. So you're actually going to stand there and tell me that you're not afraid of anything? Like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but there's nothing I can think of. Not heights, not bugs, or the dark, or bad mayonnaise, or even dying. I mean, I don't want to die, but I'm not afraid of it, or I couldn't do what I do. All right, you know what? Everybody's afraid of something. So, if you don't want to tell me because you don't want to face it, I understand. All right, fine, I'll tell you. It's the bad mayonnaise. Benson. Yeah, thanks. You spotted near 3rd and Main. feeling right before you die. It's as pure and unadulterated as fear gets. Now the scarecrow's tasted blood. 